enter this fall as your preseason favorites to win the conference as voted on by both the coaches and the sports information directors. Why not? Six returning starters on offense, another eight on defense, eight offensive selections on the preseason all-conference squad. High expectations here in KC Keeler's second year at the helm of the Bearcats, a group that each year under the head coach has gone to the national semifinals. As Jeremiah Briscoe, P.J. Hall join me at the table. Jeremiah, the outright starting quarterback all to yourself taking those snaps coming in this year. P.J., of course, uh, a remarkable freshman year, built on that his sophomore year and continues to knock out the record books already just halfway through his collegiate year. Uh, but Jeremiah, a, a unique story for you. You were at UAB before that football program briefly folded. That sends you to Huntsville, where you're sharing snaps with a young man last year in Jared Johnson, who goes on to be the offensive player of the year in the Southland. This year, after a great playoff run when Jared goes down, it's finally your team in the offseason, a great spring going into this fall. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice um, being able to finally have a team that's mine that I can kind of control. But at the same time, it, it doesn't give me an excuse to stop working. We have, we have two great freshman quarterbacks behind me. Um, Caleb Griffin, who was there all spring learning the offense, he's, he's a tremendous quarterback, just uncanny accurate. Um, and I can't take any days off. Nothing, nothing in this league is given to you day by day. So it's something I continue to have to work on. And it's really, really great to have somebody that can push me. Jeremiah already earning a preseason accolades, second team all-conference at quarterback. PJ, meanwhile, once again, first team all-conference preseason coming into this year. Last year as just a sophomore, Coaches in this league already very familiar, too familiar with you. They knew the game plan around you. How did that force you to continue your growth here as a college athlete? Basically, it just made me watch more film, um, practice more harder, uh, make sure I learned how to defeat double teams and just fight harder to make more plays because I knew they were going to be double teaming more. You blocked five kicks as a freshman, five last year. Is there going to be a sixth blocked kick on the horizon perhaps this year? That's the goal. <laughs> that, in my understanding, is maybe even a touchdown before it's all said and done. Again, this is a Bearcats team that of all the Division I teams in Texas, 56 wins since 2011, the most of any program in the Lone Star State. Again, the last two years of success now under the watchful eye of head coach Casey Keeler. He's with our Camity. Thanks, Lincoln. Yeah, a very, very talented team. You have 14 players on the all-conference list, six of those offensive. Now, I know you like to run a very high tempo offense. Were you happy with the effectiveness of that last year? Are you going to tweak that a little bit going into this year? Well, I think you tweak every season. And, uh, you know, last year we had 118 snaps against Southern Utah, 108 snaps against uh, Texas Tech. So that's the goal, to be in that 100-plus range. Um, our mindset is we want to finish them in the fourth quarter. So it's all about just tempo and wearing them down. You know, this team is built on its depth. We're going to play nine offensive linemen. We're going to play – six or seven wide receivers. We're going to play three or four tailbacks. So, uh, and the same thing defensively. So I think that's our strength. And so I think it, it really bodes well for us if we can play a lot of snaps because I think we'll wear a lot of people down. With that high tempo offense, what are your expectations for the defensive side of the ball, especially when you have playmakers like the young man we just heard from, P.J. Hall? Yeah, we're going to be a little bit different defensively. Um, new defensive coordinator, Brad Sherrod. Brad was with me at Delaware. was my, my assistant head coach. of a lot of belief, strong belief in him. Uh, we'll be a little bit simpler. Um, we're going to be a little bit more basic. And I think we can do that because it really starts up front. You know, we have seven or eight outstanding defensive linemen. You know, PJ is as good as a uh, defensive lineman as I've ever coached. And I've had draft choices at, at that position. And so I think, you know, with our ability to control the line of scrimmage, we can get a little bit simpler and uh, just go play some fast, some fast football. And of course, you come into every season wanting to win championships. Um, you've come close. Semifinals last year. How do you kind of get over that hump? You know, when I took over, I said to the kids in the room, I said, I'm here to win a national championship. That's the only reason I came to Sam Houston State. I later find out it's an amazing institution. It's a great place to live. The, the, the faculty and the president and the athletic director are incredible. But, but I came because I wanted to coach again, and I came because I wanted that opportunity to win a national championship. But we can do it here. I mean, you know, being in East Texas with Houston right down the road and not, Dallas not too far away, and we've done the best high school football in the country, and we also have a commitment from our administration. They want to win football games. And uh, it's just going to start off by one day at a time. You know, we have a little t-shirt that we, we gave the kids in the spring. You know, 10% was put on the back because we feel we're 10% shy of getting that national championship. But that last 10% is really, really, really hard to get. 
and we've got to get it in better leadership. We've got to get it in maybe you know, playing a little cleaner. We've got to get it in maybe doing a little bit better job in the weight room. We've got to find a way to get that 10%, and I think that's the mindset our kids have right now. Your first test is definitely coming up. We'll take a look at your schedule here. Your first game against Oklahoma, I'm sorry, Panhandle, uh, starting off things for you there. What are you kind of looking – to get out of that game moving forward into conference play. Yeah, this was a late addition. You know, we were set to, to play New Mexico and, and they dropped us late. Uh, and so all of a sudden we had to get another opponent to kind of fit in there because, uh, you know, we had no options. Um, and, and Oklahoma Panhandle, obviously a Division II team, maybe not quite the same caliber of the Division II teams we played my first two years here, we played two great Division II teams who were as good as anyone in our conference, quite honestly. Um, so, you know, quite honestly, it's really going to be about just us playing clean, us getting the tempo of the game, us trying to just get the, the simple things down, these young players getting some experience. Uh, we're going to count on some young guys. And we're gonna, we bring back a bunch of starters and a bunch of, you know, veteran players. But at the same time, with the freshman class that we have and some of the transfers we brought in, we're going to count on some new players. It's going to be really important that first game that uh, they get – you know, some playing time and get some things under their belt because then we go bye week, which we're not happy about that at all. Then we play Lamar. So tough to have a bye that early in the season, but I think that's why that first game is so critical that we got to get some of those kinks out before we go play Lamar in two weeks. Well, we're really excited to see how you handle it. And Very good. Appreciate your time. Lincoln, back to you. Again, a reminder just how high expectations are in Huntsville. Last year, it was McNeese that goes 10-0 and in the regular season, but it's these Bearcats, again, proving they can make the postseason run that are your preseason favorites to win the league this year.